about football, Ivory Coast, Nigeria. So we are out here and I'm gonna tell these kids I'm a professional football player. <laughs> Today we are in West Africa where football is more than a game. It's a way of life. And as a professional football player, since I've been in Ghana, people calling me that. We are going on the streets to ask people why they celebrate the win of Ivory Coast, or rather, why they celebrate the loss of Nigeria. Ivory Coast against Nigeria. Yes, uh, it was a very good game. I, I watched the match fully and I enjoyed it as well. It was a very interesting match though. There was a lot of rivalry and, and I'm happy uh, Ivory Coast won it. Yes. Because uh, before the match, I predicted Ivory Coast will take the cup. Actually, I wasn't expecting um, Cote d'Ivoire to win the match. Oh, really? Yeah. Because at the beginning of the, uh, yes. of the competition, they were not uh, yes. that they were, good. They were, they, were, they were struggling. Yeah. But uh, since they qualified, I said, no, these people will make a history. So, I thought Nigerians will win. How they came so far. <laughs> Uh, we try to get 30, so go around 30 times or touch the ball 30 times. Keep watching these awesome videos about Nigeria and Ghana, and you're gonna see if we made it or not. I can't say they don't play well, they play okay, okay they, they play, play their heart out, play. but a lot of people thought Nigeria is gonna win. That was it. So, a lot of people lost their money, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't want um, Nigeria to take the cup. But Ivory Ghana also didn't want Nigeria, Nigeria to, to take, take the, the cup. Yeah. Bro, is it me or are Ghanaians celebrating more than the Ivory? Yeah, Ghanaians Ivory are football. celebrating. It's always been like this is the qualification for the AFCON last two years. If Nigeria took the won the match, uh -huh. it would be like a 4 4 draw with, the, ah, with Ghana. With the Africa Cup. Yeah, with, uh, a lot of Nigerians are here. Uh -huh. And when Nigeria take the cup, uh -huh. they will laugh at the Ghanaians. Ah. I have some friends and they keep saying Ghana cannot qualify for any other matches. If Nigeria and Ghana, they they the rugby, rugby, the competition. Yeah, the competition yes. is too much. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13. Like two brothers that are fighting, it's like playful or? Yeah. It, was, it was just a playful. Yeah. Like they even do it in music, Ghana Miss music. Niger. Ah. Is it? Yeah, that, that yeah. So if you are doing good, you will have forever. Yeah. <laughs> so Ghana and Nigeria, yeah, it's rivalry football. And that one said that works to make you for before growing in Africa. Every bring you also to better to to uh, better performance. Exactly. Uh, for me, I'm very, very happy Ivory Coast won the trophy. It's fun to see that uh, competition. If Nigeria do it back, they will accept it or uh, surely they will accept. Okay. They don't get option. They have no option. We are one you, African. The guys that posted on Instagram, you hear? You were going to accept it. <laughs> exactly. We accept. Ah, we will accept our feet with Kodiva. Four, five, six. I had one more question. Okay. If I'm a footballer, which country would I play for? <laughs> Wins. It's from Europe. And it's the color of the shirt is also very important. Germany. That, that would be a very big question. I would say France. Um, um, I'll say England. Like your accent and the French. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm sure you understand French, so maybe that's my. Netherlands. The Hammers Yeah! <laughs> I'm from the Netherlands, from Holland. Oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> so we are on our way to a Nigerian restaurant because today is a Nigeria special. So, to feel like a Nigerian, we need to eat like a Nigerian. So, we are going to eat the one and only Nigerian Jollof somewhere. Let's go. Today, I'm here with Mr. David. Mr. David from the Chop I Chop Nigerian Bar. How come that there's a rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria? Of course, in the other aspect of life, we are very close to each other. Like, I don't know if it is because of the English we speak or something. Uh, and, you know, we have the uh, same uh, colonial master as well. 
so it's more of like we are the same family yeah but in uh, the aspect of football they were like if we win we are going to mock at them we will be laughing at them <laughs> so because of that they decided to support Ivory Coast so that we'll all be in the same shoe. <laughs> yeah. So they expect we should lose mm -hmm. so that they can mock us as well. Ah. And that is why they went on social media. We see it everywhere. Yeah. That's the Ghanaian, like my friends, have to accept when Ghana lose. They have to accept, like, now they can be mocked, right? You know, it's vice versa. The okay. way they are mocking us now, if we are win, it might be like we win another mm -hmm. Cubs. Uh, we definitely will still be working them. You understand? Okay, okay. We tell them this time we made it. Ah, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So they knew that. That is why they were like, we should lose, so that they can <laughs> keep celebrating. So okay. if they lose, we will still be celebrating, mocking them. You know. You hear? Uh -huh. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> we the children of light, and we will never let up, never give up fighting. And of course, we cannot leave this Nigerian restaurant without trying the real Nigerian jollof. There's a proper jollof war going between Ghana and Nigeria. So let's see, it's going to be our first time trying Nigerian jollof. So let's see what it tastes like. So I'm washing my hands. I'm going to eat this jollof with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Two spoons for me. No, it's my spoon. It's my spoon. Let's do the tasting. Taste test. Where's the best one? Same. No different. It's different taste. So? It's good. Yeah? It's good, but I'm a Ghanaian. So? So maybe I'm biased. <laughs> so now I'm gonna escape. Take this. No, you hey, take. <laughs> I, need, I need one spoon. You are Chinese. I can do one spoon. Yes. It's nice. It's, it's totally different. It's totally different. I mean, of course, I'm used to the Anya Jollof, so I cannot say. But I, I don't think I would be. Can you say something? Yes, I don't think I would be allowed back into my mother in law's house. Say, <laughs> no. say which one's the best? No, I prefer Ghana Jollof. This is really oh, nice. Oh, thank you. It tastes Let me a put the like Ghana. I'll put the Ghana. Oh, cool. Look at Stephen hmm? enjoying <coughs> his Nigerian jollof. Yes, yeah, different than Ghana. It tastes like different dishes. Dish. Yeah. Yes, I feel like you can't even I, compare. I don't understand how people can compare this. It's like eating. What do you compare this? It's like eating chicken soup and tomato soup. Yeah. It's both soup, but it's different. It's totally different. I, I don't know how these people prepared it. And I don't know which one is the original, so that's the main question. Maybe I need to stay at school for this <laughs> <lesson>. <laughs> Food is food. <laughs> yeah, food is good. Food is good. So Steve, how does it feel to betray your heritage? It's feels really good. <laughs> Stomach is full? That's the most important thing. <laughs> I, my belly is full. I just ate the Nigerian jollof and it was wonderful. The Ghanaian jollof and the Nigerian jollof are two, two different dishes. It's like the people. We are two different people but we all want to see our nation great we are brothers and sisters and they are trying to support each other by also mocking each other so that they become better with what they are doing so for my Ghanaian friends there know that this time you are enjoying next time they're gonna catch you back stay blessed guys it's all one love ambition made you do it let's go a very good tournament yeah and the stadium was full packed seriously it was it was amazing we hope you could feel the love between the two countries, Nigeria and Ghana. Mm. And speaking of love, <laughs> What's wrong? today is a very special day. I hope we can upload the video today. What day is it? What day is it? It's Valentine's what? Day. Oh my God. <laughs>
for you. Matter of fact, Katie likes Valentine and Steven doesn't. So we have a problem. So the topic for today is Valentine's Day. To celebrate or not to celebrate? Me personally, I am team celebrate. However, I have come to the sad, the sad acceptance that Stephen doesn't like it. But it's okay because every other day is Valentine's Day. The people that don't do Valentine's Day, the first most argument is, is commercial. I agree with it. If you want to go to a restaurant, it's fully booked. It's difficult to get in. So everything on that day is more commercial, but any other week, you can get the roses for a little bit cheaper. You About Valentine's Day being commercial. Whenever somebody says that, I always have one argument. You don't have to spend money to celebrate Valentine's Day. You can make a card, you can make a macaroni necklace. You can even make a cute playlist on Spotify. So that argument doesn't go up. Second of all, you love Christmas. You love any other holiday, which is just as commercial. Let's say for Christmas, you know, Christmas is maybe the only day that we see almost everybody on one day, my family. And if we could choose another day, then it would be perfect for me. What I, what you say, like, I agree, you know, you should make a playlist and stuff like that. But I find it like we could do that any other day. Why do somebody need to obligate me to celebrate my love for somebody on that day? If in my head, like two weeks ago, we went already to somewhere. So why then do you celebrate my birthday? Yeah, this, I've thought of everything. Like your birthday, nobody, nobody like forced you to be your birthday. Nobody expect it to be your birthday. Only the person that cares for you. So no, no, no company is going to up up the price when it's your birthday time. On that day, we can book a restaurant, the best restaurant, and still we get a table. But on Valentine's Day, we will not get a table on that day. Also, do you know what it is with Valentine's Day? People that are single. What about them? So for me, the magic of Valentine's Day actually started when I was in high school and I used to love Valentine's Day because of course I was single. I was very young, yeah. um, but I would I would maybe write a letter to some little boy yeah. crush I had. You can tell the camera you got letters from guys. No, that's but the that's thing. Okay. Okay, yeah. I actually never, ever, ever got a letter back. Everybody with a partner got a gift or they are talking about it, they post it on Instagram. Uh, the, you, you, you love that person only today? <laughs> you could post that picture yesterday or two, two weeks from now, but only today you posted somebody on your Instagram feed. It's, it's like there is a bit of disrespect because the whole year you will see nothing, but then only on Valentine's Day, you see a picture of their significant other. Ah, oh my God. I do, I do agree with the fact that you shouldn't just do something on Valentine's Day. It should be not every day of the year. That's a little bit too much, but you can do, do it just occasionally. And, and you are very good at that. So that's why for me, Valentine's yeah, Day. I plan it. I plan like, okay, I have done this mm -hmm. and this time I'm going to do this for a couple of weeks, stuff like that. So I plan it and Valentine's Day is not in my agenda. <laughs> I will plan around it. I refuse. Yes. And that's for me, that's the thing. For me, people who don't celebrate Valentine's Day, I personally feel they do it out some sort of grudge or anger. And then I feel almost as if you're doing a one man protest, yeah. as if anybody is going to care except for your wife or your girlfriend, that yeah. you're actually only protesting against me because the commercial people still sell their roses. Also, you don't have to celebrate it, but also you go out of your way not to celebrate it. Uh, is a, no, no, that's the wrong it's a big, no, It's no, a no. big thing. I think there are more guys that feels like me than girls. That's I think that's a fact because our guys feel like we got pressured. We got forced by somebody. Okay, let me say it. We got pressured by girls on that day to do something. <laughs> and if you look at Valentine's Day, I think most of the time a guy do something for a girl and not the way other way around. Let's say, if, yeah, let's say from now on every year you, you give me a gift mm -hmm. and I don't give you something on Valentine's Day. Then it, it, it doesn't really feel like a Valentine's Day, right? 
No, but but, but, if, I, I but not for you. But I also, wouldn't mind. Yeah, you wouldn't mind. But if a guy every year spend on Valentine's Day something for a woman, then it feels for the world means more than the girl doing some stuff on Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, in my opinion, is more for the woman. And if I feel like okay, I do a lot of stuff um, on not on that day, but different days. Um, but Valentine's Day can help you to remind you, like, hey, maybe the couple of weeks you didn't have done something, then maybe after Valentine's Day, maybe I would do something. It will. It's good that it is there to rem as a reminder. But I will not do it on purpose because I, I don't want to support the forceness, you know, the forceness like this day you need to do something for somebody that you love. Okay, Kaylee. If you could choose, if you could choose Valentine's Day, your birthday or Christmas. Valentine's Day. What you doing? I thought you were say you were going to say, Kaylee, one last question. Will you be my Valentine? Oh, that would have been a cute ending. But no. Uh, <laughs> this is for this is for everybody to watch. <laughs> now you are making it 18 plus. Okay, guys, thanks for watching another video. We would love to hear what you think about Valentine's Day. Leave it in the comments. How did you celebrate today? Or did you do nothing at all? Did you get asked to be somebody's Valentine or not? Or did you end up in a big argument after this? Hmm. Have a great day and see you next video. Doctor, you have this video. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.